First of all, I'm freezing in Hollywood, California, in Miami, but it's global cool. Oh, cheap yes. condo is in Miami. Yes, that was that was a good part of home. But um, in both of your envisioned futures for this community, whether it's a pessimistic version that seems a bit Amish or this sort of evolution of what already exists on your side. Um, can you talk about, the, briefly, about what seems to be, from what I surmise, this collective future of autodidactic, um, autonomous freelancers that will end up probably being the core of America, um, and how that plays a role in both of your futures? Well, I'll try to be as succinct about this. Um, I think we need to understand that societies uh, are essentially emergent, self-organizing organisms. Uh, they respond to the circumstances of their time and place, and they organize themselves uh, accordingly. And we can help the process along as sentient beings by being thoughtful, intelligent, and kind to each other. With, within the context of that, of the emergent nature of society. But we cannot give you a, a, a blueprint of exactly where everything is going to go. You're going to have to have some confidence in what you're doing yourself. And the way to do that is to prove to yourself that you're a competent person who understands the signals that reality is sending. I guess the notion of the freelancing thing, I guess, uh, keys into, uh, you know, I've talked about, you know, getting together as communities, but also entrepreneurialism in the sort of environmental, you know, world, you know, kind of space is very powerful. It's proved itself to be very powerful in the last few years. Certainly, when I look at what the kinds of connections people are making between storm water and bicycling and making streets a richer idea than just make for cars, this is all entrepreneurialism from various people. The new, ur you know, the new urbanists are very entrepreneurial about what a city can be, and they're willing to dig under the the kinds of you know uh, engines that run, you know, the way things are, and say, well, let's pull that apart and see if we can do it a better way. So that you know is extraordinarily powerful, and I you know wouldn't want anyone to feel that we shouldn't be doing it.